Hey guys, Cool Cat Crafts here. So today we are going to be making a very simple rainbow loom. I like to call this bracelet the chain bracelet because it looks like a chain. And uh, it is a very simple rainbow loom. It may seem hard to you at first. But once you start doing more rainbow looms, all rainbow looms will get a lot easier. So yeah, and remember, if you are already loving this video and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to Cool Cat Crafts down below. So to make this tutorial, you will need your rainbow loom. You could also do this tutorial on a mini loom, but I'm only going to be doing it on the rainbow loom because, um, in my opinion, it is easier. You will also need a rainbow loom hook, and you will need 26 bands. I'm using two colors, and I have 13 of each. I'm using blue and red. I recommend that you use similar colors to what I'm using, at least, because in my opinion, it is easier, but, but by no means do you have to use the same colors. And finally, you need C-clip or S-clip to hold the bracelet together. Now let's get started to uh, making the bracelet. So to start, you are going to uh, start by putting on your bands. On the loom, there is a red arrow. It is traditionally used of where of the direction to hook, but today is going to be the direction of where to place your bands because, in my opinion... You do not need a, a specific direction to hook or put your bands. So we're just going to follow the right arrow to put our bands today. You're going to start by putting on your bands just between your middle and, uh, and either of your outer pegs. I'm going to be alternating colors. You are going to repeat this process over and over again until you have gone to the very end. I will put the rest of this process in time lapse for you. As you notice, you're probably going to have one extra band. In my case, it is red. So to so what you do with this band is you're going to make it a cap band, which will hold the whole bracelet together. To make the cap band, you are going to put it at the very end of the loom, like this. And you're going to stretch it out at the end of the loom, and then twist it so it's a figure eight, and then put the top of the figure eight in it. So it's uh, two two rows of band around that one peg. Now you're going to flip the loom over and start hooking. For the hooking, you're going to go inside the cap band, grab onto the bottom band, lift it up and, well, in my case, the cap band fell off. So you just re put on the cap band like this. So you're going to go inside the you're going to go inside the cap band, try to hold it down, and then lift this up, and then put on the next peg. You're going to keep on doing that, but it will be but the cap but looping the first band over the cap band is the hardest band to loop over because you have a little bit of wiggle room for your hook on the rest of the bands. Start the finishing process. You're going to put your hook in the last band that you looped. You're then going to pick it up and put it on this section of your hook. You're then going to take it off by passing your hook left and right to take off all the bands. 
and see your final product. And do not worry, your bracelet on the loom will look nothing like your final product except for the colors. Now, this is my final product. And now to put on the clip, um, you stretch out either the cap or the final band looped. And then, no, what am I? Okay. Sorry, I just lost my cap bands. I mean, my C clip. Now, you are just going to put your cap band or your final band you loop in the middle of the C clip. I'm using my cap band because personally I think it's easier. And then uh, you get it in the cap band. And then uh, you're going to put it on the final band you looped by just simply stretching it out with your finger then putting it in the middle like you do with the cap band. Then take it off the hook and then you have an awesome rainbow loom bracelet. Thank you for watching Cool Cat Crafts. And um, bye. Remember, if you loved this video and want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to Cool Cat Crafts.